Hello everyone, my name is Ashwak Ahmed and I work in the field of structural biology and bioinformatics. Today, it is a short video and we will cover how to design PCR primers using Google Colab. Let me tell you, there are a number of softwares and there are many online servers available and people are using it. But I receive few messages in different comments asking to, 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 to tell us how to generate PCR primer designing. Therefore, I made this specific uh, OLEP for primer designing. Uh, you may know that on this channel, my first priority is to give you most of the things on Google Colab. So let's start. But before going to start, um, I also want to tell you that if you are expecting this video, that I will discuss about the specific and the minor scientific details like melting temperatures and templates template or primer length or GCN, those contents and primer designing region like from the coding region or the for or from the for the promoter region. So uh, sorry this video is not for you. In this video quickly uh, I will teach you how can you design or start designing your primers quickly in one go and i hope you can learn these things uh, from some other videos there are a lot of uh, online information available so let's start okay this is my the uh, browsing page you will need to write google collab research google.com and then you will need to access the repository h100 these are my repositories and here when you see this kind of thing so you have to click here and select primer designing if you are new to this channel so i have i will drop this link into the description section you can copy or you can use it from there so you will see primer designing then you need to click here as usual click here to connect your notebook this is a short introduction that uh, who am i i already gave my introduction to you so this is just a two strip two step process and i have generated this uh, specific notebook from the program named primer 3 so if you are using this notebook in your research data then please cite this paper this is the primer 3 research paper okay so first we will do some installation and after running this cell we will install the primer 3 and ipy widgets uh, they are necessary things it may take um, with me it took seven seconds so it will be quick now i'm opening let's say the ncbi and i'm taking some sequence a dna sequence uh, just for the sake of this tutorial nucleotide let's say i'm selecting ndm1 okay so it's a bacterial gene or uh, beta lic which codes for beta lictamases okay let's say this is a uh, your sequence and click here faster so this is our sequence now one thing you need to do first copy the sequence here and paste it in your text file on the computer paste it in a text file okay, okay notebook is fine just once control v now what you will need to do because it generates some error if you paste it directly into a notebook 
uh, so you need to click here at the end of this line and then click once the delete button above the backspace in your computer so it will remove all the spaces if there are then but click once now you will see here this is the last okay this is the last so let me okay now again delete now click here press delete click here press delete click here press delete what i did actually i removed the possibility of any missing or any gaps so now copy let's say this is my sequence is and i want to generate a primer for it so come back here things are already installed now just click this button it will run this program and you will see this window so click here and paste your sequence we have did something we have removed the gaps in the no uh, in the text file now my sequence is here now you have few options here what is the optimal size you are interested in and what should be the minimum size and the maximum size it means these two indicates the size range let's say i have set it like the minimum size should be 18 not less than 18 and the maximum not more than 25 base pairs optimum i think 20 will be good but you can uh, change these values okay what is the optimal temperature you want so this is 60 is the optimum temperature and minimum this is the range from 53 to 63 actually you are asking the program like use this sequence and use this range for temperature for size and if you are asking me so i would like to do i would like to be this one and what so what size of the product you are expecting so i say okay 250 to 150 this is the range now click here design primer okay now you can see a forward primer and a reverse primer and your product size if you want to to change some settings then you can tweak some settings here and then click here again and you will see another primer that will be designed here so you can try it and you can make you can generate the your primers quickly and well done you have designed your primer and if you have not yet subscribed this channel please subscribe there are many and much more interesting videos are coming uh, now i am planning to 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 move on towards the machine learning and deep learning things and also simulation and also micro array and rna sequence data analysis so so many things are remaining so uh, in near future you will see many interesting things so i would suggest to subscribe and if you want to join my whatsapp channel just click here and you can follow my whatsapp channel so what you can find on the whatsapp channel you can find some updates some suggestions i will share and some research services i provide so if you want to hire there so you you are most welcome and also some courses so but for information you can follow my whatsapp channel for news and other things okay so far so good i hope you like this video and be happy good luck to your science bye bye